remind you that extremism in the defense of liberty is no vice. Evil genius, Travis Cook, back with you once again. And the big news story of the week has been the Obamacare website debacle. By now, I'm sure you've seen stories or you've read or heard about people who tried hours upon hours to get into this Obamacare website and couldn't get in, couldn't register, couldn't sign up for coverage or whatever. And uh, you've seen, of course, infinite reports of the site crashing and all this stuff. And in fact, uh, every time it seems like every time I turn on Fox News, there's another story about the, the Obamacare website. Either, well, here's another way where it failed today, or uh, here's what the administration says about the website, and they're going to do this and that, or here's some tech guy saying that it's impossible to fix it. It seems like Fox News has become obsessed with the Obamacare website. And clearly, it is a situation where uh, it has allowed those of us on the right to uh, put a little egg on the face of the administration, and, and deservedly so. But I do have a cautionary word for those of you on our side, those of you who are conservatives uh, and maybe who might be in the conservative media or conservative bloggers or uh, even those few sane Republicans that are left out there uh, on the Tea Party side. I have a cautionary word for you. I fear, after seeing the amount of coverage this is getting this week, I fear that some people might be getting so wrapped up in the problems of the website that they're not doing their due diligence in using that as a way to illustrate for the American people why Obamacare as a whole is something we must eliminate. It seems like the website is becoming the story itself instead of Obamacare as a whole, and I think that's a little bit dangerous. Make no mistake about it. The problems that the website has uh, are the symptom. They are not the disease. The disease is Obamacare. The disease is government involvement in healthcare in any way, shape, or form. And while I know it's tempting to use this as an opportunity to kind of shove the administration's face in a little bit, which frankly they deserve, we got to be honest about something. I think that we on the right cannot just assume that the American people will see all of these problems with the website, the myriad of problems that there are, and make the connection and put two and two together to say that, hey, the website's not working. Maybe this whole Obamacare thing is a bad idea. I know that doesn't sound like I have much faith in the American people, but hear me out if you don't mind. Um, and this is going to sound, I know this is going to sound a little condescending, but the reality is what it is. There's a number of people in this world today who either do not possess the capability or do not wish to execute the capability of seeing something, seeing evidence, seeing a news story, and taking it to its logical conclusion. Now, for people like you and I, this is not a problem. We can see something like this and say, hey, well, we told you so. We knew that if you take the profit incentive out of, uh, out of uh, health care and, and creating websites and so forth, that you're going to lose efficiency. You're going to lose innovative ways to do things. You're, you're going to get things done j just barely, if at all. We know that. You know that. I know that. But a lot of these people out there in America today who really get their news off of sound bites or Jon Stewart or off of a joke here or there, they're not going to think that through. And what I fear is that for those people, they might see the problem as the website in and of itself. They're not going to take this to its logical conclusion that whenever you put the government in charge of or involved with an industry, inefficiency will naturally happen. They're not going to think it through that way. It's incumbent on us to tell them that. We can't let the American people put two and two together. We have to put it together for them and tell them it's four. That's what happens. We have to do that. If we don't, we've already seen how the Obama administration will take these low-information voters and turn them against us. We've seen that since the day Obama was elected. Now, some of you might think that's a little condescending, that we have to constantly be reminding people of why Obamacare is a bad thing, that we cannot just let them take the debacle that is the website and figure out for themselves that it's, that, that it's indicative of what health care as a whole will be under Obama. But really, that's the key to any kind of marketing when you think about it. And, and 
it sounds a little callous. It sounds a little cold. But really, that's what politics is. It's marketing. You're marketing your message and trying to convince people of it. Democrats do it. Republicans do it. Not particularly well. And we Tea Partiers, we conservatives, are now trying to do it. Let me give you an example. I think back to my mother, who, who used to love the soap opera Days of Our Lives, the old school soap opera. And she was a working lady. She didn't get to see the show very often, but she would take a week's vacation in the summertime and then another week's vacation around Christmas time. So about six months between her vacations. And on her vacations, she would always watch Days of Our Lives. And it, I, I always wondered how is it that she could go six months without seeing this show and still keep up on it, and still know how many ex-husbands Marlena had or whatever the hell was going on. And it wasn't until I got much older that I figured out how she was able to do it. Because what I found out later on down the line is that soap opera dialogue on that show and other soap operas of the time, soap opera dialogue is written in such a way that they are constantly reminding you of the key points and of the message. They don't rely on the audience to figure stuff out and put it together. They do it for you. You know, when, when, when someone walks in a room, they don't say, Hi, Jane. They say, Oh, hi, Jane. How's your ex-husband that fathered your four illegitimate kids and tell you every plot line that happened for six months? As a result, my, my mother and other soap opera fans were able to just walk into any given show of days of our lives and pick it up right away, right where they left off, because everything's going to be laid out for them. In politics, that's what we have to do. So we can't assume that the American people will just see the debacle of the website and then say, hey, maybe those tea partiers are right. We have to use this as an opportunity to explain to them why we are right and to keep explaining it over and over and over and over and over and over and over until either they get it and understand it or until either they just throw up their hands and go away. Either one of those scenarios, either one of those endings is what we need to happen. So to the Fox Newses of the world, the political punditry of the world, the conservatives out there, I would ask you this. Don't shy away from pointing out the problems of the website and illustrating the garbage that's going on with it. But make sure every time you do it that you use it to point to the greater point that government health care is wrong no matter what. Because I fear if we don't do that, some people out there are going to see the website issue as the whole issue, as the entire ball of wax. And you and I both know that eh, three weeks from now, four weeks from now, Obama and his minions, are, they're going to put some techie geeks on this thing, and they're going, to get, they're going to get the website going at some points where you can actually do some basic things on it. I know that's coming. It's not a lost cause for them. They're, they're going to get the website to run. And when they do, and you mark my words on this, when they do, they're going to have a press conference. They're going to have a speech saying, hey, look, the website's up and running. All the concerns about Obamacare are unfounded. It's up and running, and God bless America, we have health care. That's coming. I would bet my house on that. So in order to make sure that they don't get the opportunity to spin the story that way, we need to be consistent right now and use this website debacle to illustrate why government health care in any form, even Jed Bush's form, health care from the government in any form is wrong and should never be considered, period. That's it for this week. This is America's Evil Genius. We will see you next time.